I'm John Graham, uh, Vice President of Marketing at SolarFlare. Uh, we're a US tech company based in California, uh, but our R&D is, uh, is in Europe and India. In fact, we have a big office here in Cambridge. Uh, we've been going about uh, eight to ten years. Uh, we're a merger of two companies, two startups, a uh, uh, San Diego or a Orange County based uh, chip company, Ethernet chip company, and a Cambridge team that were doing controller functions. And so we now supply high performance, high speed uh, Ethernet adapter solutions to mainly the uh, financial uh, services industry. Uh, so we have about 1,500 customers worldwide, largely in the US and in Europe, but growing in, in Asia and the Pacific Rim. Um, and we enable very high speed, high performance networking between people's uh, service systems. Uh, uh, really is the backbone, the network for uh, virtually all the IT within the financial services industry. In particular, uh, our core competency has been to really reduce the latency of traffic going across a network. Uh, our chips and software, increasingly software, uh, enables customers to uh, get visibility into, into uh, traffic patterns and, and uh, traffic and packets, do deep inspection and figure out what to do with it. So the, the three primary areas we help customers are we can either uh, accelerate applications, uh, we can capture traffic for a uh, uh, number of reasons, regulatory compliance, that's a big one that, that's, that's ongoing, uh, for uh, analytics, so they can monitor their applications performance and also the network performance. And then thirdly, uh, the other function for Capture is to be able to help people get visibility into uh, security related issues. And then the third leg of the stool in, in software is that we've got a suite of uh, security products which enable us at a network level to uh, filter and eliminate bad traffic before it hits the service. So really our, our uh, sales are physical adapters, but in actual fact the value here is that we help solve fundamental business problems, uh, reduce the cost of, of, uh, of capital, uh, improve ROI, simply because customers have things that work faster, work smarter, and, and are safe and secure. And those three things are the primary things, I think, that keep most of your you know, CIOs and chief security officers uh, up at night. Um, but we do it at a network level, and all that means is, is that we, f we filter out everything that's not needed by the servers before it gets them. So their performance is up uh, and enables them to get on with the jobs that the IT guys want them to get on with. And so, yeah, we go to market through a number of uh, uh, distributors and value-added resellers, uh, both here and, and in the US. Uh, we continue to bring out products that, that are leading edge performance-wise and on speed. So, for instance, uh, we have right now a, a new 8000 family, uh, which are 10 and 40 gig adapters. Uh, and they uh, really go into primarily the, the uh, investment bank areas, where there's a lot of uh, uh, performance and um, uh, high frequency trading type applications. Um, our acceleration products really had a breakthrough, kind of goes back to the history of the company four or five years ago. Um, uh, we were really able to help a lot of the trading firms initially in Chicago reduce their latency on transactions and there's, there's two things as they're making trades whether it be foreign exchange or commodities or whatever um, it's all about doing it very quickly um, but also being able to track uh, the timing of those uh, you want to make sure that when deals or t transactions come through they come through in the right order if, if the information doesn't get through and you've got to resend and retransmit you finish up you're getting out of order transactions um, and so it needed to be ultra low latency, it needed to be super accurate, needed to have uh, very accurate timing with it, and it needed to be traceable. People being asked now to save days, weeks, months, years worth of transaction data for Sarbanes-Oxley or uh, for some of the new European requirements coming in. And they need to know that the information that they're capturing, you know, exactly when it came in down to, you know, a few nanoseconds in order that they can 
remain compliant. And so we were able to provide a solution to several of the large trading firms in Chicago. Uh, that went viral. Uh, and, and now globally I think we have about 90% market share of uh, the, the trading activity within the investment banks. Uh, so uh, as, as our CEO likes to say, you know, uh, we, are, we have to be trusted and ultra-reliable because things like NASDAQ runs on our network backbone. All right. So, you know, over the years we've been able to prove extremely reliable uh, and robust on our software and our hardware, and that now has started to carry through into the more broad applications within investment banks uh, in the data centers, the enterprise data centers, where security, visibility, uh, and, and uh, high-performing applications are becoming far more important. Where it's, a few years ago it was the, the bleeding edge, if you will, of, of, of certain transactions. It's now a common need across the enterprise, especially with, with uh, uh, you know, more cloud or, or uh, virtualized environments. Um, you've now got storage elements in a variety of places. You're trying to reassemble data on the fly. Those packets have to turn up at the right time at the right server. And so again, you know, the ability for uh, high-performing networks uh, and to do that with a low latency becomes critical otherwise your application performance drops down so more and more now what started as servicing a, a niche in the, in the high-frequency trading area is now fundamentally central to many of the uh, needs of, of, the, of the wider uh, market certainly within the in, in merchant and uh, uh, investment banking area much of this spills over to other verticals like uh, telco and government we, where we're starting to have inroads there as well um, but really it, our, our, our company technology stems from the quality of our uh, foundation controller with most of our investment now going into software uh, and it's the correlation of those two pieces that gel together seamlessly that give it the, the, the stability and the performance. Um, so, you know, that's, that's basically we're, are we a chip company, are we a software company? I don't know anymore. We're really a solutions company uh, with software that goes all the way up to the user level. How would you uh, evaluate your company in terms of market competition? Where are you? Where so, uh, the lion's share of, of, if you just vanilla Ethernet adapters is, is Intel uh, and Broadcom. Um, but they have always gone for the for the low end. Uh, so uh, people running generic applications, cloud applications, uh, we've stayed away from that and, and, and try to focus on solving fundamental problems that we're able to because of the visibility into the network traffic. So I, I, we probably more come across people like um, uh, Mellanox, uh, Chelsea uh, are probably the two of the, of the bigger ones. Uh, we, we do uh, compete against uh, Intel in certain places, but largely that we're trying to solve different problems. Uh, theirs is just a raw connectivity. We're trying to solve business problems that, that can, be, can be solved by, by smart networking, essentially. Um, if you um Look at um, if you look at the near future. Um, how do your technology solutions um, basically would look like in let's say about ten years' time? Because uh, the world is moving into yeah. cryptocurrency as well. You know, is uh, your is solution does your well, the, offer? Yeah, I think that I mean the business problems aren't going to go away. Uh, if you look at um, as I said, the, the applications um, need to become more efficient. Uh, we've already seen, I think, in the last few weeks, Google had a 2% improvement in, in processing or something. Well, that's massive. If you look at 2% reduction for them in the number of servers they would have to use, in the power budget, the cooling systems. Um, you know, we've seen 5x application improvement by using our software. So what would have taken 100 servers in, in some of these web-facing applications, we can now get that down to, you know, 2025. Well, that's, that's a massive difference in, 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 uh, in capital deployment. So, um, to answer your question, the, the, the business environment's not going to change. It's can we run things more efficiently? Can we do it faster? 
do we really know what's going on in our networks? You know, if, if, if you virtualize networks, uh, can you track performance in, in a virtualized environment? Uh, things that are running slowly or inefficiently, um, and then how do we secure it? The, 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 the breaches now are not coming in so much from the outside, but also the inside. Is people taking USB sticks to work and putting them in, or, and all of a sudden you've got an attack really from the inside. So the ability to, uh, uh, firewalls an overused phrase, but to secure clusters of servers within an environment within a certain domain, um, you know, the certain portions of an enterprise that you know may not want to share their servers with other people's. And if you can break that up and put different walls around them, you, you can do a much better job of securing your systems. Now, those fundamentals over the next 10 years are going to get more important, not less. Um, bandwidths will continue to climb, so we can continue to deliver uh, silicon that supports the, the networking standards. But more, more and more now, we're able to deploy software that we can have independent of our adapters. So I think in the future you'll see us providing hardware and software solutions, uh, but also independent software solutions that, that go hand in hand with our, our networking solutions. Um, you know, all of them focused around those solving those types of problems uh, in, in, in meaningful ways. Uh, can you name one of your key clients, like? Um, we do um, like 1,500 customers. We do 90% share of the trading. So it, it's a who's who. It's it's Bloomberg. It's the big um, uh, investment banks. Um, uh, you know Morgan Stanley, um, JPMC, pe people like that. Um, and, and we've helped them in a number of different ways. Um, uh, many of our customers use a full width of our type of products, others more focused for solving specific problems. Um, we've got a number of case studies on the, on the website uh, over the last four or five years. Um, we do, uh, we've done some special work with people like uh, Cloudflare in the, in the hosting space. Again, these, these worries and concerns now go far beyond just the banking and financial institutions. They're, they're fundamental to the performance of, of many hosting or CDN um, uh, uh, type applications as well. Uh, so we, we've, uh, where we can, we disclose case studies. Um, uh, but I, I, I don't particularly want to yeah. disclose certain um, customers that... Uh, if uh, you had like just three words to um, describe your key features and key benefits, what would be the three key features? Yeah, we make servers, and so it's, it's about the applications, not so much the servers, but we, we essentially offload the servers, therefore enabling them to do better with the applications. So we make uh, applications run faster, uh, uh, we, we make them smarter because of the visibility uh, and we make them safer and more secure uh, and it's those three pieces that, that are probably the most important to, to our customers. Uh, I think we, you know, like any tech company, we want to grow as much as we can. Um, you can never predict where the journey is going to go, so you try and build a strong company with a strong, diverse customer base, uh, delivering compelling value in a sustained basis. So we feel that the combination of uh, the hardware technology we have, and especially the software, uh, in conjunction with one another, will remain a compelling value proposition moving forward. We're playing in big markets. Uh, these are big concerns for customers, uh, and, and I think we've got a good uh, positive outlook for, for, for sustained, profitable growth. Um, and then we'll see what happens. And then three words, as you said, key features and benefits. So they, we accelerate, we monitor, and we secure uh, any, any high-performance network within, uh, at the moment, financial IT infrastructure. How big is your company, John? Uh, we are about uh, 60 million dollars right now um, and uh, you know continue to grow in a fairly sensible sustained way so we're and you want to be a public company sometime uh, like I said we can't predict where the future goes yeah. but you know anybody that continues to build sustained value has an opportunity for some kind of uh, offering uh, or, or indeed becomes attractive to other companies um, you know if we do well we also have uh, you know, our disposal capital to perhaps 
a choir company. So I, I don't know what the, like I said, you can't predict where the future holds. Uh, you can only build a company, uh, you know, with credibly uh, building brand trust and, and uh, value for our customers. And that in itself will generate wealth within the company and enables us to spend it or expand it as, as we wish.